Hi, this is Gabe Belanger from Computer Geeks on Call. One of the most common calls I get has to do with this. Internet Explorer cannot display the web page. Now, there can be a lot of reasons for this, and I'm going to try to go through the first basic quick uh, checks you can do. So the first thing to say is, um, in this scenario, why are we not connected to the internet? Well, first of all, we can go here, down to start and to all programs to accessories to a thing called run. If you're using Windows XP or something of that nature you can go to start and run so older versions of Windows as well start run same idea in Windows Vista and Windows 7 start all programs accessories and then go to the run if you type in CMD Charles Michael David click OK it brings up this black window kinda of like the old DOS window that's exactly what it is this is DOS inside window so it's not the way DOS used to work the whole idea here is we want to know what's going on so let's start out by understanding our network setup if you type in the word IP config as in internet protocol or IP configuration and hit enter it shows me the problem right now media disconnected so it's physically unplugged so let's look at my computer aha not plugged in so I'll turn my computer a bit and plug it in and something nice to know is that when you do plug in you usually see two lights indicating send and receive on your network adapter. That's not the best view of it. But we should see two lights, one for send and receive. So now I've plugged in my network cable. Now, this program is not going to just tell you what's going on. You have to ask it questions every time. So if you hit the up arrow on your keyboard, it brings in the last command, IP config. So we hit enter now, aha, now it's working. I can see that I have an IP address, 192.168.0.15. That is the IP address for my computer, and I can see a default gateway. That's the IP address for my router. That's how most people are set up. So, I'm back to my command window. If I type in the word ping, space, yahoo.com, for example, I'm basically saying, can I connect from my computer to Yahoo.com's computer? Forget about anything else. This is the very base minimum. Can we do it? Now I'm getting a reply, and the key thing you should focus on is packet sent for, received for, lost zero. When you see that, you know your connection is working properly. If you see that packets received was three or two or, or one, you know it's not consistent. So what do you do? You hit the up arrow, brings up your last command, try it again. Now, that's kind of cool, and we can see this thing called TTL53. The fact that it's always the same is a good sign. So this covers off, can I connect my computer in a very basic level from my computer to yahoo.com, and do I get a response? And yes, I do. So that indicates that at a basic level, my networking is working. It doesn't mean things that go on top of my internet connection, like email or Internet Explorer are working, but that's something. I want to show you something else too. Let's pretend I unplug my network cable and I type in IP config. Oh, media disconnected. That, that makes sense. It's disconnected. Right? So, in this scenario, we would plug in the cable, but I just want to do this anyway and type in ipcon. Well, you know what? Let's hit the up arrow to make it easier for ourselves. My last command. And now let's go release. This is often a good starting point if it doesn't seem to be working right. 
it says no operation can be performed while it's disconnected. So you may have some kind of message. Either way, a good step is to do IP config release. And you would do this if you're not getting a proper IP address. Then you hit the up arrow, and we would erase the release and type in renew. It cannot be performed because it's not plugged in. Okay, so let's plug it in now. Hit the up arrow, IP config space forward slash renew, and what does it do? It gets an IP address for us. Sometimes you manually have to IP config release and IP config renew. If you do that and you get an IP address, great. If you do IP config space forward slash renew and you do not get an IP address, that indicates you have a problem. If your IP address right here was 169. Dot something or other, it means you're not getting one. And without one, you're, you don't have an identification, you cannot get on the internet. It needs to be set up, that's the basic first start. Let's say you do get an IP address and you want to test the connection, you can go ping space yahoo or some other company uh, dot com and you will get a reply. Now if the reply comes and goes and you don't get this fully or you just think you might have a problem you can go ping space yahoo.com I believe it's minus T and what does it do now? It does a continuous ping. The thing to focus on here is the TTL. If the time to live or I'm sorry the response time if the response time varies widely, you can see mine varies a little bit, then it's good. If it varies a lot, that may indicate you have a physical problem with a DSL phone line or that kind of idea. If you find that you do not get a proper reply, that indicates that your connection may come and go. Why would that happen? You may have a physical problem with your router, physical problem with your network adapter, or viruses and spyware. So now once you've gone through that for a while, let's close that window. We don't want to ping Yahoo forever. That would be unfair. Uh, we do want to do it just to quickly test. So let's pretend you've gone through that and you're pinging Yahoo successfully and this is still occurring. A quick fix, when you're not on the network, it automatically switches to this offline mode. So if I try to go to a site, it'll pop up. You are in offline mode. Would you like to connect? And we say connect and now the site is working. So that's some quick steps on how to test your internet connection.